Hello everyone, Amud here from the Target Common YouTube channel and in this video tutorial we are going to learn about two new methods provided by Selenium 4 called Get DOM property and Get DOM attribute. In the last video tutorial, I have already covered existing method called Get attribute. If you have not watched that video or you don't have any idea of that method, then I will suggest you to go and watch that video. Let's have a brief recap of that video. So we know that an attribute is assigned to the HTML element within the opening tag. For example, in this HTML web page, I have one input text box and here I have some attributes like ID, name, value and type. And if you want to get the value of these attributes, we need to use the get attribute method. We also know that we have some attribute which has no value like read only or disabled. If you apply get attribute method on those attributes, then it is going to return true if present otherwise null. We also know that we have some attribute which has no value initially like this attribute called value. This attribute generally gives the data whatever you enter in the text box and if you try to fetch any attribute which is not present within this input tag then it is going to return you null. We have this understanding from previous video but all the points are not correct. Let's see more about get attribute in this video. If you open the Java talk of wave element interface where we have the kit attribute method and try to read the documentation here, then you will have different understanding of kit attribute method. First statement it says that get the value of the given attribute of the element. This we know. Now read further. More exactly, this method will return the value of the property with the given name if it exists. So we have a new term value of the property. If it does not, that means if you don't have any property, then the value of attribute return. We are using get attribute, but it is looking for something called property. If that is not found, then only it is going to return you attribute value. If nothing is found, then it is going to return you null. Now you might be thinking, what is property? Are properties or attributes same? So let's understand what is property now. So whatever we learned about attribute, that is correct. That means here ID, name are attributes to this input element. Let me open this HTML page into Chrome browser and if we inspect this element, then we can see these attributes like ID, name, value, type and we have some auto-generated one. Now, Go to console and run some command like console.dir parenthesis use document dot get element by id and we have id as first name pass here then close the parenthesis hit enter you can see it is giving you the element whatever is found using the id if you expand this you can see we have so many things here like accept ss key align alt so many things are there and for some the values are empty but for some it's null. Actually all these things are properties to this input element. So you might be thinking, okay, if I call get attribute method for this accept, then I should get this value empty string. Or if I call area atomic, then I should get null. Let's try. I'm going to load the HTML page and here I'm going to use sysout chrome driver dot find element by dot id and id value is first name then call get attribute and pass the property name which is area atomic or whatever you want or let me put accept let me run this program so you can see we have something space here that means it had written you empty string now if we use some different one where we have value let's try this client type copy the property name paste it here and run the program so we can see some value 17 which is here so you got so now you understand how this get attribute is working it is looking for the property name first if it is found that it is returning the value if it is not present then it is going to check for attribute so what is happening we create the html page by providing some attributes but when that html page is loaded into a browser or it is passed in a browser then 
This HTML page is converted to DOM document object model. In every web element will be a JavaScript object in that tree. And if it is an object, then obviously we are going to have many properties. So here are the list of properties which are assigned to the input elements. Whatever attributes we have like ID, name if you try to search those attributes here we can see id is first name then if you look for name then we have the name as well if you search type then also we're going to find that property here here is a type equal to text then we have another one called value which is first name so whatever attributes we have in html opening tag it will be mapped with the same name or different name under the properties in this case whatever attributes name we have given here like id name value or type those attributes are mapped to a property with the same name but this is not the case for all the attributes for example i am going to add an attribute to this text box called read only and you know that we need to use the read only in a small case. Let me save and reload the page. If you go to elements, you can see read only is added here. But if I go to console and rerun the same command, and if you see the property list here and try to search for read only. So here is the read only. You can see here O is capital. That's why if you see the documentation here, it says that if the given name is class, the class name property returned. So class is attribute name. But in the property, it is class name. Similarly, read only is the attribute name, but read only where which capital is the property name. Then you might be thinking, what is the use of this get DOM attribute or get DOM property? Sometimes we need the value of attribute, not the property. Because get attribute is going to look for the property first. If we have something which has same name in attribute and property, and you want to get the value of attribute not the property then you cannot get that with the help of get attribute method because property will override that value and it will be returned so in those cases we need to say that whether i want the attribute value or property value then we can use these two methods let me give you one use case in this input element i'm going to remove the read only and instead of text i'm going to put some garbage value we know that the value of type represents what kind of input element it is. But here for the type attribute, I am passing some garbage value. Let me save and reload the page in my Chrome. And if you inspect this element again, you can see it has some garbage value for type. But still it is text box. Go to console, trigger the same command. And if you expand this one and, and search for the type attribute, you can see it is text. It is not the garbage value because when the document is passed, then type attribute must have the proper value. It cannot hold any garbage value. That's why by default it is assigned as text. It is not taking the value of attribute. So if you want to get the value of this type, then you need to use the get DOM attribute method. If you want to get the value of type from the property, then you need to use get DOM property. Let me show you one more example. Here we are using another attribute called value and we are passing some first name here, which you can see here. And if you try to search that value attribute here you can see it has first name let's change the value from first name to amos and if you inspect this element again you can see value is not changed let me rephrase and perform it again let's type amos you can see the value of this value attribute is not changed it is still first name and if you go to console and run the same command again and expand try to search for value property you can see here we have the same value whatever we have typed. So here we have same attribute name and property name, but the values are different. So to tackle these problems, Selenium 4 has provided two different methods, get DOM attribute and get DOM property. Now let's see some example of these methods. Let's fetch the value of type. So here for the attribute type, we have some garbage value. For property, we have the proper value. So use get attribute and pass the attribute name as type let's copy and paste this statement twice here use get dom attribute and here i am going to use the get dom property let me run this program so here's the output for the first one it is returning text because this get attribute method will look for the property first and in the property type we have the proper value text when we call get dom attribute so it is directly going and looking for type attribute where we have some garbage value so it is returning that and we have separate method like get dom property which is returning text which is the proper value so hopefully you know the difference now get attribute will look for property then 
attributes if not found. But get dump attribute will look only for the attributes. If it is not found, then it is going to return you null. Same thing with get dump property. It will look for the property not the attribute. If the property is not found, it is going to return you null. So that's all in this video. I hope you like this interesting topic. If yes, please like, comment, subscribe and share with others. Thank you everyone.